with a 25 year old who went to his first race at Martinsville, Virginia when he was in grade school. Tony Stewart won that day and it made a lifelong impression on William Byron. He says at uh, Hendrick Motorsports, he says the guys with the pop-off valve on that pressure cooker are Rick Hendrick and Chad Knauss. But the one person at Hendrick that's really brought William out of his shell has been Jeff Gordon. Just Kevin Harvick going to want to go back. Just a fun guy. Yes. He's going to want to see that replay of that, that spin. That caution that came out cost him dearly. Unfortunate. Kevin Harvick finishes fifth and extends his streak. Not the finish he and Rodney Childers hoped for. It was good to see someone get in the mix, though, with the Hendrick cars. Obviously, they were running away with it, and Kevin was up there. It's still, he's still got to still got to walk away and say this was a good day today. We we're fast. We were there. Just Here's Regan it. with the winner. <laughs> Two in a row for William Byron. William, you led laps early in this race. The middle part of the race fell back just a little bit, but then the call at the end by Rudy Fugel to take two tires. What were you thinking at that moment? Yeah, yeah just uh, over the last couple weeks to him, you know, he's done a really good job. Strategy-wise and execution-wise, we've done a good job to put ourselves in those positions on the front row with a shot at the end. So just uh, thanks to everybody back at Hendrick Motorsports, uh, you know, putting together great cars and just doing a great job. So it's a big credit to them, the engine shop, uh, Mr. Hendrick, everybody. Uh, so. Cool to have Valvoline back on the car. Uh, really historic looking paint scheme. So nice to get it in victory lane. Two in a row for William Byron.